Hello guys, welcome to the channel DMS and Hacker. Today I'm going to solve the box Ignite from TryHackMe. Okay, before getting into the walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and also give the thumbs up. Okay, I'm in the site TryHackMe and open the room Ignite. So I have deployed the box. So I'm going to solve tax serial wise, but there are only two questions. So first one is to find a user flag and second one is to find a root flag. I'm going to use Paradox to solve this box. You can just use any distros. Okay, let's uh, start with nmap scan. Let's copy the IP. Type sudo nmap dash s between numbered version dash s c to run default scripts and the machine's IP. Okay, let it run. But I'm going to stop it. So I've already completed my scan and just I'm gonna uh, cat the output. Okay, you can see here that only port 80 is open and it's HTTP port. Okay, let's check what is there in this HTTP server. Let's open a browser and paste the URL. Okay, we got the Base and let's say fuel CMS. Uh, there is bunch of information about the server data. It exposed few of the folders in the server. Okay, there is supposed to be this. Fuel base, let's check it out. Slash fuel. There is a login base. Just, I don't know the default credentials. Okay, let's check if there are any expert version for this version 1.4. I'm going to use salt exploit. So if you don't own this source exploit, you can always download it using app get packet manager. Okay, source exploit fill CMS 1.4 1 1.4. 1 we got a remote code execution exploit for fill CMS 1.4.1. Next first copy it. Dash M mirror and then the exploit code 47138 okay mirror in my directory let's view it what it does so it's a python exploit web link i think that it is the vulnerable one that's what this exploit uses for running uh, commands can it send it asks for this request to this url in the this page and then again send it through the bob proxy so fire up our bob okay while the bob is starting let's open our proxy Okay, let me fix the exploit first. So in this URL, I'll just keep the IP of the box. Okay, then also you have to open your Bob proxy. So I've already opened the Bob. You know, just enable the proxy and intercept. Okay, then I think there's nothing more to do. So we have enabled the proxy. Okay, let's save the exploit and run. Let's check what it does.
okay, it's uh, coded in Python too. So let's run it with Python. Okay, we got something. Okay, when I hit ls, so it sent the request to uh, Bob. I gotta send it to repeater. Let's then decode it. Control shift U. Okay, so this is the part where we input our commands. Okay, now let's just use a PSP a reverse shell. So this is present in this folder user share web cells PSP PSP reverse shell. Okay, just copy this file user share web cells PSP PSP reverse shell. Okay, just copy it in your current directory. So I'm going to copy it as cell. Just open it. Just change this IP part to your attacker's machine's IP. So 10, 9, 86, 27. Let's save it. And start setup of Python HTTP server. Let's type sudo. Python 3 http dot s m then http dot server give port number so I gave the port number 80 and okay start up http server okay let's again go to Bob Okay, I'm gonna I can send the file to uh, repeater. Let's decode it again. Control save to you. Change this ls part to mm. double gate http ten nine eighty six to twenty seven. So cell dot ps Okay, now we are downloading this cell uh, cell.php file from our paradoyas and to the default directory of HTTP server. Let's uh, encode it. Control U. Let's send it if it worked or not. Forget to decode the whole path. Let's encode it again and let's send it. Okay, now so it is downloading the cell.psp. So it downloaded a bunch of time. So let's list the directory. Okay, we successfully uploaded our shell into the server. Now let's run the shell. Let's go to your browser and so I think it's in this directory. Let's run it. Okay, we I successfully get a reverse shell on our attacker machine. So our user flag was pre present in this home directory. So home directory and www dash data. Okay, let's get the user flag. So 
So where is our user flag? So now let's escalate the privilege. So for privilege escalation part, I always like to check uh, the programs running with the uh, pseudo writes and second one all the scripts with SUID bits enabled. So, so to check the pseudo ones, just type sudo and dash l. So we cannot run this command. Let's go for the ones with the SOID bits enabled. Just type find slash dash type file the best one cost to 4000. Let's suppress the errors. Okay, run a bunch of commands. So there was nothing in sudo one also and so no scripts were misconfigured with SUID bits. So I searched around a little bit and I found actually so default credentials. So the hint for the default credential was in the HTTP server. So you can check here that there are configuration files in this folder slash fuel slash application config config file. So I checked around the site. So there is a fuel admin page also. The credential with admin and admin. I missed this in the beginning. So it actually says here that the database file in this folder no, slash fuel application config and database so there was actually easy way to get the root privilege you just get user and password from this database so i didn't know that so i sort around so let me show you how i find find the password files I went into this directory slash bar slash www slash html fuel application. And so I ran this command find command. Okay, I run this find command. So, what it does is it sources in this correct current directory for files. Okay, then execute this command grape. So, dash i. So, it uh, grape and find for this letter password. So, and it suppresses the output, and the, this last line is to this this exec command need to exit with semicolon but when we run with grape so it run into some error so we use this one okay let's run the command okay it immediately found this line password and just may 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 So if you have as enumerated in the beginning also, we need needed to do that. Just we can directly check this database file. But I didn't I just missed this. And I have to do the hard way. But we can not use sudo su as there is no TTY prison. So 
I imported a TTY cell using Python. So to do that, just type Python dash m import PTY PTY dot spawn slash pin slash bash. Okay, this command will import a TTY cell. Means Python tree. Yeah, the bond of try. I got it right. It's Python tree dash C. Okay, I was just importing module rather than it's running command. So let's run it so python dash c import pty pty dot spawn plus pin pass okay now we got some other interactive pty cell and we can just run sudo also so let's sudo to our root just type sudo su mm. Let's give the password. It's not sudo su. Just no, let's change it to a root. Just type su su and just change it to root. And we got the root password. All right. Now we actually escalated the privilege with uh, the credentials that we found in the folder the database.php file okay now we are root user so let's get the root flag also okay here is our root flag And we completed the box. Here is our congratulations message. Thanks for watching the video. So if there are any queries, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.